Well, I just found out some great news. If you're a Beacon mic owner, and that is now we have voice mod support. Let me show you what's happened, and uh, I will kind of talk about what the issue was and how it's been remedied. And then I'll show you how you can line up voice mod so that you can have voice effects on your mix for live stream. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Own.pro is a great resource for Twitch streamers who are looking to upgrade their live streams. With a library of over 600 different premium stream packages, integrated chatbot, there's all kinds of tools available. Now, I am going to use Owned Own Minimal Series stream package to do some tutorials on obs studio that i will use from my own dot pro account and you can too for a low fee a monthly fee that gives you access to everything that owned dot pro can give you including their own audio library from epidemic sound so if you want more i have a link down in the description below and you can get 50 percent off using code tfs at checkout now let's get into the video all right one of the great things about beacon mic is its mixing function but one of the problems with Beacon Mic prior to uh, prior to the last voice mod update was that voice mod only supported 48 kilohertz inputs. Well, Beacon Mic is only 96 kilohertz. You can't down you can't downgrade it to or, or down sample it to 48 or 44 within Windows. It caused that to not work with voice mod. Well, you were really didn't have anything that you could do about it you were just kind of stuck you could do some roundabout things like using another virtual mic that sort of thing caused some issues uh the previous video i did kind of showed you that workaround but now beacon mic owners can now use voice mod it now supports 96 kilohertz samples so what we can do now is line up beacon as an input so let me show you how to do that it's very simple to do now this will be mainly for your single pc users i will go a little later in the video and show you what dual pc users need to do that way you can get your microphone to your game pc and all that sort of stuff but for most people this will be how you will line it up so let's go ahead and bring up the stream pc all right so here is voice mod right all right so under settings go into input and you can now input your beacon microphone which is really cool i love it love it love it all right that's really all you need to do now output wise now what i've done is i've gone and output this to the aux 2 virtual input to the beacon mix create or beacon mic if you had the beacon mic i had the beacon mix create so that's what i use for the actual mixing function uh so that's what you that's how i have it outputting that way i can hear it and also i can use it and we'll talk about it later for dual pc functions all right so if you don't have that and you just you know output it to you whatever you're monitoring that you're using a headset whatever it doesn't matter you know you have all the input our outputs here that windows list so now and you can also see that if you have your your beacon mic there you can also see the update here in the uh meter here the volume meter you know that you're getting your input all right, so from there, now what I'll do is I'll bring up this and you can see now that the microphone is coming in here and what you will need to do is you'll need to, uh, you can do one of two things. Now, if you are a single PC user, you can simply go and input, say let's bring OBS down here for instance, and I'll use OBS as an example. Um, you can just plug in an audio input capture and use the virtual microphone from voice mod you can make this your default microphone and then that will add all the voice effects into all of your different softwares that uses a microphone uh now for dual pc users this is what i've had it done i have sent this into this hardware input and then i will send this to my audience mix and also my voice chat mic so here instead of sending my uh microphone the actual beacon mic to the voice chat mic i can turn that off and just have the voice mod virtual mic as the main microphone going to the voice chat now what this does is this is how you send your microphone to the game pc by right clicking or is it right clicking left clicking left clicking you could copy chat mic to a speaker output and then through that 
cable, the three millimeter uh, TRS cable that you send over to your stream PC or your game PC, that's how your microphone will get there. Uh, so that's what I've done here is I have now sent this voice mod virtual mic into this mix bus for voice chat. And likewise, I've got it in my personal mix and my audience mix. So that is how you'll use it for dual PC. It's very simple, very easy to do. And so now what I've done and what you're listening to right now is you're listening to the Beacon mic. Uh, but now I will switch over to the voice mod mic and we will play with some voices and you can see that it's working pretty well. All right, so let's try, try some of these out. So first of all, you're listening to clean. Okay, this is like basically raw microphone almost bypassing it. This is what I typically used when I wasn't using my uh, voices, different voices. Uh, so this is a new one. This is this is voice enhancer. Uh, you could definitely tell a difference there. Uh, a lot of different effects, uh, compression and EQing going on there. This is a favorite baby. I like this one. Uh... T-Pain with the uh, auto-tune function there going on. I like that. Here's Titan, this is your kind of Thanos sounding uh, voice that I use on all my stream for uh, channel points. Uh, all kinds of different ones. You got Robot, so it's really cool that you can do this. You can see all the different voices that you have available here inside of Voice Mod. And this is a subscription that I have here. Uh, it's not expensive. Uh, three, I think it's like 25 bucks for three months or 12 bucks for three months, something like that. Uh, it's nothing super crazy. Uh, they got different plans. You can also download a free version. You can try it out and see if you like it. Uh, it has soundboard functionality, so you can have, you know, different soundboard uh, here, you know, and it works with like things like Stream Deck, Touch Portal. Uh, so you can set up a soundboard and use that uh, and have, you know, the keys set up and everything. It's really nice. Uh, so voice voice mod's really nice and the fact now that it's supported in beacon is really cool so i am uh, glad to finally see that but that is it guys thank you for watching this video uh go out there give this a shot i will provide a link down where you can download voice mod uh for and try it yourself but i am glad that it finally supports 96 kilohertz uh and the beacon mic specifically because i haven't been able to use this now for a couple months well since i switched over to the beacon mic and uh but now it's all good and it works great so there's no workarounds and uh yeah so go out and give it a shot all right guys thanks for watching the video again thank you owned.pro for sponsoring this video have a great day everybody we'll see you later